Hello everyone and welcome to class of Tetra. Today in this class we will discuss about advantages of Tetra technology. So let's start with the very first advantage that more lower frequency. So we know the uh, distance between the frequent uh, relation between the distance and frequency. That frequency is in inverse relation with the distance. So if our frequency is less the distance covered will be more. So this is the very first advantage of Tetra technology that we are using very lower frequency. So lower frequency will result in a longer range. That means it, uh, it covers high level of geographic coverage area with smaller number of transmitters. Thus it will cut infrastructure cost. So this is the very first advantage of Tetra technology. Now let's move to the second advantage that during a voice call the communications are not interrupted. So communications are not during a voice call. So whenever we are moving from one network or uh, moving from one uh, side to another side, the communication will not interrupt it. This is a unique feature. So like it, tip, uh, this network will provide this type of communication. It allows the number of fallback modes such as ability for a base station to process the local calls. So we are having mission critical networks with the help of Tetra technology. So this is the second advantage of a data technology that because of this we are having mission critical services of these are communications are not interrupted during a voice call. So the third advantage that in the absence of a network mobiles can use direct mode. In absence of a network various mobiles or we can say portables that means any devices they can use direct mode so what happened in the direct mode in direct mode they can share the channels directly suppose walkie talkie, -talkie mode so this is the third advantage now let's move to another right here in Tetra technology, there is a node or mode, we call it as gateway mode. So what happened in the gateway mode? When a single mobile with connection with the network, like this is a mobile, this is in connection with network. Single mobile in connection with the network, it act as a relay for other devices. for other devices that are out of range of infrastructure. So that's why this is a gateway mode. This is also an advantage of Tetra technology. Tetra technology also provide a point of point functions. This technology provides point to point function that traditional analog emergency services radio system do not provide. Like we are using emergency services, those services do not provide point to point communication. So this technology provide point to point functions. So it enables users to have one one to one trunked radio link. So we can say that we can have one to one users can have one to one trunked radio link between them without the need of any direct involvement of operator or any dispatcher. We are having one to one one to one trunked radio links between the system. So unlike the cellular technologies, unlike cellular technology which connects one subscriber to another subscriber one to one, Tetra is built to do one to one, one to many, many to one 
all configurations. This is for public safety as well as professional users. Now, Tetra, that means uh, if we talk about the security in the Tetra technology, the security Tetra, it supports registration. You can have authentication, then ear interface, encryption, and also Tetra technology provides end-to-end -end encryption. All of these are for security of the Tetra technology. Now, rapid deployment of network solutions are available. Here, we are having rapid deployment of network solutions, which can have, uh, which can help in disaster recovery and capacity provision. Other than this. Tetra technology provides various network solutions which are available in circuit switch architecture, flat architecture, IP architecture with soft switches. So these are the advantages of Tetra technology. Now if we talk about that what are the disadvantages of Tetra technology. So Tetra technology it requires a linear amplifier. It requires a linear amplifier. Why it requires a linear amplifier? So that it can make, it can meet stringent RF specifications to meet RF specification that allow us to exit along with other radio services because these specifications has to be with other radio services. So that's why it requires a linear amplifier for this. And if you talk about the data transfer, so the data transfer is slow. Data transfer is slow as compared to modern standards, the data rate is very slow. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of data technology. Thank you so much.